Kia ora koutou tawhakahua whanau Ko te raharoa e tēnei rā Let's do the photos of the week I'm starting the photos of the week with a bit of a flashback here and about this time this year but three years ago i.e. 2018 there was all this commotion in Wellington City when this southern right whale turned up in our inner harbour and spent a few days like frolicking around and entertaining the locals and as you can see here I managed to get a couple of shots these were shot on the Canon 80D with the Canon EF 80-200mm magic drain pipe can you believe it? But as you can see from these photos here, it really captured the interest and the curiosity of the whole city, basically. And day after day, for the period of these few days that Matariki, the Wellington whale, was in our harbour, people just flocked down to the waterfront, trying to see the whale, connect with the whale, take photos. And it really was quite a sight to be seen, having a whale of such size within our inner harbour. The thing that's done me the most was I've seen lenses, bigger lenses than I've ever seen before. So from a photographer's perspective, that was pretty cool. But yes, I do hope that Matariki, the Wellington whale, was going all right. And I wonder where that wee land is right now. Have a look at the sunrise here. This is the kind of mornings that we're greeted with in Wellington. The sun just like reaching over the hills, reflecting back off the clouds, cascading over the city. It's really, really cool. Oh, now this shot here is shot at f22. Now f22 should be soft, right? Or be suffering from diffraction? I don't even really know what that is, but that image looks fine to me. And then here's one here of the Blue Bridge. I love how the sun is framed by the clouds in the ocean. And then here, solace in the wind, just backlit with the glow of the rising sun. So once again, we had some great mornings on the walk to work. Hey, yeah. And then also during the week, we went to the Ahika Festival here in Wellington. It's basically a fire and food festival associated with the Māori New Year here in New Zealand, which is called Matariki. They had this cool exhibit called Tahuma, which is a series of nine lights that shone up into the sky. So that was pretty cool. And once again, there were lots of people out just enjoying the city, connecting with our history, connecting with our culture, getting some food, getting some photos, all that good stuff. So I'm not so up to speed on the night photography. I always try and expose normally when I should be exposing back, you know, using the dark in the images. So that's on me. I'll, I'll work on that and get better as time goes on. But as you can see here, it was pretty cool fun. So that's Ahika, put on by the Wellington City Council here in Wellington. A pretty cool night, and it's always nice to have these little things that we can go out and do different things and learn a bit more about our history. Then last weekend, I had two one-year-old's birthday parties to shoot. Now, as a professional photographer, I do weddings and 21st and event photography, but not often do I do baby birthday parties. So I was a little bit nervous, but essentially the formula is the same. And for me, I'll tell you the secret now, I'm gonna reveal the secret to getting great photos at these events is to catch the moments. And I know it sounds really simple to catch the moments, but that's what you're doing. You're looking for action, you're looking for smiles, you're looking for laughs, you're looking for interaction between people, and they are the moments you want to look to catch. These little secret moments where people are doing things at the parties as well. Like this one here, I just love the way the little boy is looking into the cupcake uh, display from behind there. Pretty cool. And then this is one of my signature shots, taking photos of people's phones taking photos. Uh, but look, not every time does a photo go according to plan, but this is still a moment. I did not deliver that. And then some lovely sharp shots of the cupcakes. Cupcakes make everything better. And then I really like this, these couple of photos here because you look at this little chap here and it's like the wonder of being involved in the conversation with girls. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm in this conversation here. What's going on? And the thing is, it's not to blow it when you say something. And you only have to look at this next image to show, mate, what did you say? You blew it. You know, but it's all learning. 
It's all learning in a social context. So good on you, man. Good on you for saying something. Maybe it was a joke. Maybe he said something off colour. Who knows? But anyway, it was not to the favour of the young lady there, as we can well see. And then I'd like to leave you with this photo here. It's my favourite of the week. And the reason for this is because when I shoot at weddings, you know, things like the ring shot, the first kiss, the throwing of the bouquet, the cutting of the cake, they're all really important moments. But the theory of that is not undermined depending on the event you're shooting at. And for this one, I'm shooting a one-year-old's birthday party. But right here is a moment in time, the cutting of the cake, the feeding of the cake to the young tyke. You know, it's really important to capture those moments. And one thing that I came up this week is that moments, when you capture them, they're magic. If you miss them, they're memories. Now, your clients are not going to know potentially what shots you miss, but they will certainly hone in on the ones you deliver. And if they're looking for a certain shot, it just creates the pressure and the intensity to be able to get those shots in the moment. You've got to make sure everything's okay, your exposure, your focus, your white balance, all that stuff. But the main thing out of that is always shoot raw. So you've got something left in the bank to be able to play with after you've shot the image. Okay, well thanks a lot for watching. I know I wrapped it on a little bit in this episode. If you want to check out other episodes of Photos of the Week, you can do so right here. Otherwise, yep, have a great week and we'll catch you next time. See ya.